Thank you, Karen. So you guys are definitely the stars of this conference that it's 7.30 in the morning and you're here. So I'm very impressed. You give yourselves a pat on the back for that. So I've been listening to all of you talk this morning. As Karen said, now, you know, she was worried about what, we're, <laughs> what she would say. So I've been listening to you. You are going to leave this room today either loving me or hating me because you're either going to love me because you now know the secret of how you can bring your career to the next level, or you're going to hate me because you're going to hear the weak language everywhere you go, in yourself and in others. But I think it's going to be the former. You're going to love me. So my love of languages began in Paris. It was the first day of first grade, and I was wearing a wool, gray, scratchy, god-awful jumper with the emblem of my school on my shoulder. I walked into the first day of first grade, and the first thing I noticed was that no one else was wearing this uniform. And I looked at my mom, and she went like this, and that was that. I sat down at my desk, and a minute later, the teacher walked into the room. Bonjour, les enfants. Comment on tell vous vos vacances. Prends, prends papier, morceau de papier et un stylo et écris vos noms. What? <laughs> I had absolutely no idea what she had just said. But the kid sitting next to me pulled out a piece of paper from his desk and started writing something down. Being six years old, I wrote down what I knew how to write down, which was my name. And for the next three months, this is how I learned to speak the French language. Haven't we all been in meetings where we didn't understand a word of what was being said? Like an IT meeting, anyone, recently? <laughs> yes, you know what I'm talking about, yes. I carried this love of languages into my business today where I work with stellar, smart women like all of you to take their careers to the next level by accelerating and excelling in their communication styles. And what we're talking about today is how to 